quality content going on here. <laughs> ah, look at this old, old, old camera. That's the word I'm going for. Anyways, I just finished punching the bread down for the last time. I've put it in the pans it is rising and my vlog is done thumbnails done so I'm going to upload that and then like I said we're in good shape oh yeah I want to text my friend and see if he wants a loaf of bread because I kind of intend it to freeze some of this batch but <laughs> there's no way that we're gonna have any space to freeze it so I'll just have to not <laughs> so that's where we're at. This is this is the quality content. I've been moving. I'm doing a time lapse, and I've been moving him. I don't know if it's gonna work out. I'm gonna probably put it in anyways because it'll be hilarious, even if it was a fail. But we'll see what happens. So I was editing my footage from yesterday. I thought nothing of it, but um, my audio didn't work for the last clip and I was like oh I must have forgot to turn on the receiver because I could see that the transmitter had both lights on but I was like I thought I double checked last night and just now I realized that my cord that plugs into my camera was not plugged in which means any audio I've got today is a no-go so I guess basically uh, I, I've been doing a little bit with this guy so there's some stuff but I woke up it was early <laughs> ish maybe I'll just try to voice over when I get to it I don't know we'll see but I'm a little annoyed especially because my time lapse worked out and then I to see that none of the audio worked out from earlier in the day <sighs> alas anyways the bread is close to being done it's in the oven right now and probably like another 10 minutes before I rotate them because I do five loaves at a time, so I like to move the back ones near the front and etc. So they all get kind of golden brown. It's a very fluffy bread today, so that should be exciting, but that's where we're at. And then I think, I guess I can cross some things off. Do, do, do. Vlog is done, and I'm going to say bread is baked. So we're doing all right now, I think. After I finish with the bread, I'll probably take a little bit of a pause from the cause to eat some bread and watch some YouTube videos, and then um, I'll probably get back into the typing things up and reviewing and the writing and everything, and then we'll see how I feel from there. Stop. So it is 2.30 and we have been going strong and I'm really paranoid that my things aren't attached. But it's all attached and it's all on. And the bread is done. I love, I don't, I love crust on bread. I don't know. And like the end piece is so good. So like I said, it was really fluffy, fluffier than the last two batches. So let's see how it is. Yes. <laughs> I love bread with butter. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, fresh bread. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna keep watching YouTube videos for a while because everybody kind of uploaded it late today, it seems, or slash I was busy. And then we'll get into the other nitty gritty stuff. But first, like, yes, I just, yes, please. <laughs> well, hello, new angle here. I want to start typing out my stuff and I have a book easel somewhere that will make that easier. And, um, I don't know where that somewhere is, so I have this ottoman under my desk, and it is just like chock full of various things. So it's got my heated shawl in case I get cold while I'm writing. And then it's just got quotes. It's got more quotes. I think I, oh, yeah. So, whoops. If it's anywhere, I feel like it's going to be in here, but I'm honestly not sure. So anybody... Anybody needs some envelopes or my union dues? <laughs> it's 
stickers. Oh my goodness, that's falling apart. These are my famous uh, note things that I use. I, wouldn't, I don't know if they're famous, but these are the lists that I use every day. Um, I think this is my last one after I'm done that one. So we'll see what steps we take going forward. These at one point were my favorite pens. They're the Inkjoy Papermate. Um, you can probably see how much I like them. <laughs> oh, this one's slightly different because it's got the clickers on it. Don't worry. There's more. Oh my goodness. I. I think that's it. <laughs> I need to count how many there are. But the thing about these, so I worked at a shopper's drug mart and it was the end of um, like back to school season. So it was probably like late September and they were on sale for $1.25 each. And I told my boss if she made them a dollar, I would buy them all and she did. <laughs> and so I think I bought like 30. I've given away a lot. The problem is they're not my favorite pens anymore. So I just kind of have a lot of them, but let's, in a second we'll count them. I'm just, this is my hard drive with all my movies on it. <laughs> I'm trying to find the thing that I mentioned. Da -da -da, my brain has stopped. My book easel. I don't think it's in here, but this is an adventure and fun. I think these are story notes. Yeah, they're story notes and also some more quotes. This thing I use regularly, my ruler, so I should keep that visible. And I'll show you this too, watch. It's funny when I open this. It's got those pens in it too. <laughs> oh, hey, this is the book that I have decided to work on right now. I should pull it out, that might be useful. YouTube ideas. <laughs> Oh, this is story stuff. That might be important. It's not for this story, but it's for other stories. Now I'm like curious and I want to go deeper into here. That's not this story, so that is fine. Oh my goodness, it's a mess. Sometimes we make maps. <laughs> you know what? I was looking for graph paper recently, and not recently, like forever ago, but apparently it was here. Oh my god, there's hair everywhere. All right, time to start packing this. Wait. <laughs> time to start packing this back up. I will pack it up and then we'll count the pens together. Okay. I think we are in a point where we can count them. I'm not going to count this one because I think somebody gave that to me as a gift and um, it's slightly different. <laughs> so let's count identical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. 13 identical pen sets. So if anyone needs pens, just let me know. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Okay, but it was good to go through here because I found some things that might be important to writing. Also, I got these recently and I think they're gonna be great for when I start planning my actual book plots, points, books, the books, the acts and everything. Um, but I bought two, so I think I probably have one in my drawers up here. So like I have these drawers here that you can see I have a lot of sticky notes and other things. And then I have those ones over there as well. So I think there's a good chance that I already have a set of these up there, but that's okay. I also found these, they're like um, extra bits for shelves. So that's exciting to have because in case something breaks. <laughs> and I was wondering where they were and I would have never thought to look in here. All right, this guy goes back on top. It's a little more organized in there now in that there's slightly less stuff and I think it's just because I organized it really well, but lid goes back on and I keep this under my desk. 
Back when I first moved back to my hometown, I got that to sit on while I was writing because my desk was like this big. Um, but now I obviously have a very comfy chair. Um, so I just keep that under my desk because I like to put my feet up. I'm the type of person that will like kick back in my chair with my feet up on my desk. So this is kind of like an in-betweeny. I also have this cushion that I can either use for my butt or for my feet or it just stays there depending. All right. I have no idea where this book easel might be because I went through all these bins back here before I picked up the camera and I'm just trying to see if I'm using it to display something because sometimes in the past I have but I have no idea so I'm gonna keep looking for a little bit but boy is it hot out I am melting <laughs> but that's okay so <sighs> It's just so convenient because if you have a book easel, you can just prop up your thing beside your computer and it will just, it'll, it'll just be there for you. Um, so we'll see if I can find it. If not, that'll be a job for another day. Oh, but I'm sweating. I'm sweating so much. We'll survive. We'll probably survive. Alrighty, so I just got a thought. Oh, that my book easel might be in one of these boxes. It's not in there. This is dangerous. Aha! <laughs> uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Sorry for the terrible lighting, but we found it. Ugh, I think at some point during everything I need to go through, like all those boxes and, you know, anyways book easel this is very exciting to me so basically at this point what I do shuffle over a little bit set up my book easel there I got this at this place in Victoria called Boland's books but I'm sure you can get it pretty much anywhere and then I open up my notebook to the page that I want to type up it goes there if it's a bigger notebook, it still stays in place, and then it's so much easier. I'm so excited! Oh, I'm still sweating to death. It's fine. That is a win in my books. I also had to reset the internet between now and the last talking clip because... I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> honestly forgot how long it takes to type these things up and like I haven't even gone through for the pictures yet but it took me probably an hour to do two and like I have all the information is the thing it's just the formatting right which I forgot what the formatting was so I had to pull this up but I got through the two that I intended to do today which is very exciting so I can cross those off my list and then I have two DNAs that I just want to read through and revise and think about. I think, are they up for... One of them is up for typing up tomorrow. Did I do this like in a weird... Oh, okay. My key, which I've made here for who I want, who I planned, does not match the order that they're in here. Okay, that makes sense. Anyways, that is done. And um, I'm feeling good about things. There's a siren going outside. It's still really warm out. I don't know, but it is just about six. I think at some point here shortly I need to go down and pack up the bread because uh, it should be cool enough to go into bags because it's been yeah it's been enough hours because it came out at two and at six it could have gone in a bag like an hour ago it's fine um, and then we'll kind of see where we can go from there but feeling pretty good about the day. I'm thinking about maybe going for a walk after dinner depending on how I feel but we will see but I'm so glad I found this. We'll just put that on there and it's ready to go that's a lifesaver honestly like if you do any like handwritten planning even like book like I used to write out my books or my Harry Potter fan fictions by hand and then I use this so I get type it it's great anyways cannot get enough of that I need to go now though because I'm just gonna ramble. <laughs> so I mentioned earlier that I texted my friend to be like, hey, I'm gonna have bread done soon. And he never got back to me, so I think he's probably out of town. His um, family has a house in a very remote location, so I think that's likely where he is. Or maybe he had to go into work early, I don't know. I don't know. So I was like, 
five loaves of bread is too much for us despite the fact that my mom's boyfriend and I went through like half a loaf when it first came out five loaves of bread is too much I'm assuming he's gonna take one down my mom's boyfriend is gonna take one down to his dad tomorrow and like <laughs> drop it on his doorstep kind of thing but still four loaves of bread is too much for us so one of my coworkers the other day had mentioned like hey you know if you ever want to let me know when you got bread I'll come I'll drive and get it and so I texted him and I was like feel like going for an after dinner drive I got a loaf of bread I could put it on the doorstep <laughs> and so he was like yes oh my god really <laughs> and so I just went outside and I put it on my mom's um, hood of her car but I just stepped back and he came and he got it and he was very happy he's like I don't know if I'm gonna share that I came and got this or if I'm just gonna eat it in my bedroom by myself but I was like that's your prerogative <laughs> but um it was really funny because he's a tech guy and so he's always wearing black whenever I see him like black jeans black shirt hardly ever see him outside of that and he like rolls up in his pajamas <laughs> so random anyways it is just after eight now we had dinner and I need to cross things off and I don't really have I mean I got stuff to do today but I don't really like I don't, I don't have plans nobody has plans but I just need to like focus it's been going well like I almost have everything crossed off my list I have to review my DNA's on here which is fine um, I wanted to go for a walk but then I was like oh I'll go for a walk later when it's cooler but I was just outside there and it's really cold so I don't think I want to go for a walk so I just need to find the correct time to do that and work out perhaps maybe maybe I'll spend some time doing some research on my computer to find like a workout playlist but I just ate very recently so I'm not gonna work out right now because I might die and then I want to shower again it's not like a huge deal because <laughs> what am I doing um, but if I work out definitely want to shower and then I want to do a face mask because my face I don't know if you can see it's kind of broken out especially down here and so I feel the need to do a face mask to hopefully fix that I'm just trying to decide what type of face mask I want to put on like I have my stick one that I really like because it doesn't make a mess or I like have a ton of clay ones like I'll show you you know how people have like skin fridges I just have a fridge <laughs> with a ton of face masks and everything in it and then up here I have my jade roller and I have my under eye patches I'm thinking like maybe eventually like putting my moisturizer and stuff in like here too but for now it's fine um, so maybe I definitely would want probably a detoxing one no oh, charcoal no black rice huh I I know that I have a ton here this is like excessive and that is because I had a subscription to a face mask subscription box for a while and so that's why I have so many so <sighs> I'll try to decide I have like some clay ones as well I have some peel off ones I don't want to peel off one because those hurt but I don't know I'll figure it out <laughs> the like very important things that are going on in my mind also I know I'm holding the camera crooked but I'm lazy <laughs> okay I think next oh but if I have a shower I need the face mask just before the, this is this, there's too many choices I need to put the camera down and figure out what the heck I'm gonna do <laughs> because otherwise I'm just gonna be indecisive for the next 20 minutes holding the camera <laughs> the getting dinosaur shirt came out so I think we know what happened I did some just dance um, I'm dying a little bit now I did probably like 40 ish minutes so good job me a terrible timing yes because it is now 10 to 10 but that is okay so I did also go through my like watch later on my YouTube and I put anything exercise related into an exercise category so I and then I searched I found a couple more so I think tomorrow maybe I'll try some of those we'll see um, I think what I'm gonna do now is remember I mentioned this earlier that I found this and this is this story and it might be useful it is legitimately trash <laughs> it is the very first thing I ever wrote for this story and I would say that was probably like eight to ten years ago it is so bad it is so bad it is so bad it is so bad but I'm gonna read through the rest of it see if there's anything useful <laughs> I found this one that I was like oh this is a good sentence so like this was since I wrote it I read through this again and it says I hadn't slept well my tangled sheets were as good as an indicator as my bloodshot eyes and I was like this is a good sentence <laughs> uh, that's maybe the only redeeming quality of this 
like it so bad. Oh, and I found, I found on the front here, I was in a blends in Vancouver that my friend owned. And this guy was in there and he was just, and I wrote crazy old man in blends. And he said, let it be known. I'm crazy, not lazy. <laughs> and obviously it was enough that I need to write that down on the thing I was trying to read through. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna finish reading that because why not while I chill out and cool down. Then I'm gonna read through, dropping everything, read through the things I need to read through here. I still feel with the one character that it's gonna be when I'm typing it up that I'm gonna make the biggest changes, but at least I can get a sense of what he was. <laughs> and then um, after that, I think it's, shower time face mask shower time in the bedtime sounds like a good plan i'm gonna have so much footage in this vlog it's and like some of it has no audio that's gonna be fun to deal with tomorrow Alrighty, so i hopped out of my shower it and it's been a while it's like midnight now whatever it's fine um but this piece of trash was so bad that i had to stop reading it, it is so bad it is so bad <laughs> which is fine like i said it was like the first time i got into it so that's fine. I also went over the one character and after reading through it, I think it's going to need like a full rewrite. And I do in one of my, um, I don't think I have it on this computer. I think it's on a hard drive. Yeah, I don't have it here, but I definitely do have a character that I had to write a second time for my other book series. So I think I'm basically just, it's not salvageable, like parts of it is salvageable, but I think I'm going to have to rewrite the whole thing. So what I think I might do because in here, I don't have this as the same order as I actually wrote it in, so I think I'm gonna go through the pages in order, which will give me like an extra day to re-go through that one character. I think that'll make a difference, maybe. And plus, I, it, it'll make sure that I don't miss anything, but this was the other thing I wanted to look for. This was how I kept organized. So I had people, places, and things, so I had to type up to write, to verify, revisit, and then definitely type. So then I just went through everything and then I'd be like, need pictures, redo, whatever. So I think I need to do something like that probably once I go through this first run of everything. And then I had like a, a need page. So like need five to eight random hotels slash hostels. I never wrote them. Need 10 to 12 random people to interact with. I never wrote them. <laughs> So there are definitely things that I didn't need, um, but there are other things on here that I definitely did need and I went through on my list, but that's where we're at. I think I'm going to go to sleep here very shortly, just to reopen that to my page I'm working on. And with that, I will see you probably tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.